Hi, I'm Devin Bishop, lead plant operator with the City of Ventura Water Purification Division. And we're here at the Avenue Water Treatment Facility right off of Highway 33. The building you see behind me is actually the city's original water treatment plant built in the late 1930s. And we'll take you for a tour behind the scenes and see how the water starts and ends the process. So there are two main sources of water, groundwater and surface water. The difference between the two, surface water is water that is on a lake, a river, a stream, water that is physically on the surface flowing. Groundwater, it can be hundreds and thousands of feet deep. So this plant feeds and flows straight off of the Ventura River. It's 100% surface water. We are walking to Kingston Reservoir right now. We're gonna see where the water actually enters the facility prior to treatment. Here we are at the Kingston Reservoir. This is where the plant receives its surface water from the Ventura River. This reservoir is 10 million gallon capacity. It is where the water receives its contact time from that initial dose of chlorine to ensure that there are no contaminants within that water. Directly behind me in this building right here is actually the operation portion of the plant. Inside that building is the ultra filtration membrane plant that processes every bit of the water that we receive from Kingston Reservoir. And now we are about to enter our membrane facility. These are the membrane fibers that are actually filtering the water. These are referenced as Z-weed. So when these are actually in the basins, they float around in essence like seaweed. Everybody has seen seaweed while they're at the beach. This floats around and a vacuum is pulled on these individual fibers. It pulls water from the exterior of the membrane and processes it and flows directly through the center. So that's why this is an ultra filtration membrane plant and it has the capability of filtering out very minute microorganisms and ensures a safe drinking water product. So underneath the basement side of the membrane plant is where the pumps that do the real work. This is where the vacuum system is drawing water through the membranes. This is the top view of what the membrane basins actually look like. From the top, you really can't see much, but each basin is roughly 5,000 gallons. At our facility, we actually have our own laboratory in which we do process control to ensure that the product we are producing is a safe drinking product. Let's go in. You can see behind me all of the different sample taps. So we, we test each and every one during the entire course of the process from raw surface water to treated filter effluent. We test for multiple different constituents on a daily basis. This is the control room of the plant. This room is where the operator controls the entire process from start to finish. This plant is advanced in the fact that it can be run remotely through a computer. So this 24 inch pipeline is actually the filter effluent. This is the filtered treated product of the treatment process. This water is now going to exit the facility and head over to our power reservoir facility. And so this is truly pure drinking water at this point. Once the water exits the membrane facility, it then travels to power reservoir, which is a 18 million gallon capacity treated water reservoir. This reservoir is a little different as you can see, it's 100% covered. This roof and the structure ensures that no potential contamination occurs after we've treated the water. This is also where the water receives its final contact time before it heads underground through the pipes into the distribution system directly to you. So Ventura is very unique in the sense that our sources, every bit of our water is local. Thanks for joining us on this virtual tour of the Avenue Water Treatment Facility. 
We hope you learned a little more about where your water comes from and how we treat it to ensure you have safe drinking water.